joined by Mike Rampoli here on the backside of Churchill Downs to talk about fierceness. But we have to go back to the last time we were here talking to you. Kate was doing this interview. It was not a fun interview. As we get through this week, is that feeling in the back of your head, do you feel like I can't, you know, you know it, be sure that this is actually going to happen this year? Well, I, I look at it a little differently, Christina. I mean, what are the odds of me being back here with the favorite? I mean, like, when you think about those odds, Having a horse scratch in the Derby is one thing, but having the favorite and then having the favorite 12 months later is is like a one in a billion. So I just feel blessed. And, uh, you know, listen, at the end of the day, I mean, the past is the past. And, you'll, you know, adversity builds greatness, I said. And I've had a lot of determination grit in my life. And, you know, this is my 10th Derby entry. Unfortunately, uh, two were scratched. I'm 0 for 7 plus two scratches. And, you know, let's see what happens. But i um, not worried about it at all. I think that's a real insight into your personality, into why you've been successful, in that you you know flip that to the positive and always look for the good. Fierceness worked this morning. Did you like what you saw from him out there? I mean, it was just, uh, he's just so special. I mean, he's just amazing. I mean, he's just, uh, he worked in 48, but he galloped out in one minute and 112. And then, you know, I Todd told Johnny, I think he worked seven furlongs today because he went 125. But, you know, and Johnny's like, no, no. I mean, and Todd said, it's not your fault. I mean, ears pricked. I mean, he doesn't look like he's going that fast, and uh, he just got over the track really, really well. And he's just, uh, he's just getting better, and he's maturing, and you know, it's, uh, I'm excited. Do you think some of the criticism from his return race as a three-year-old and finishing third that day is a little too harsh? Have we been too harsh on him because we're expecting such greatness from the two-year-old champ? You know, I mean, um, Secretariat lost five races in its career. I think he lost his first two out of five. Um, I think, uh, you know, listen, starting the champagne was the second start stumble, but, um, you know, the one thing that Todd and I did, which was different, is usually we go, like, Fountain of Youth and then Florida Derby. We decided to go January, and then Todd gave him the eight weeks. And, you know, he probably was not usually, like, what a Todd boss is, 110%. And, uh, and he probably could have won the race by two, three lengths if he didn't get hit, but... You know, I, I think uh, I think we learned a lesson. I think it worked out great. He had the eight weeks, and he was training better and better and better. And then, you know, but we had to say to ourselves, uh, day of the Florida Derby, if he's first by five, we're not going to be surprised. And if he's fifth by five, I guess we can't be surprised. First by 13 and a half, I didn't have. Uh, but we got something really <laughs> epic that day, you know. I noticed the shirt. I noticed the kicks. We noticed Tom Brady at Gulfstream with you not long ago. For our fans, for FanDuel, for the sportsbook fans, obviously he's a big draw. Will he be here at the Derby rooting you on? He will be here. He's coming in that morning, and he's going to go out that night. And uh, Tom's been great, you know. Um, I, I, if I think if I win the Kentucky Derby, uh, um, I think one Kentucky Derby would be equivalent to ten Super Bowls. <laughs> so I think that I can I bypass his seven Super Bowls. But uh, he's, a, he's an awesome guy. He's a, he's a better person than he's a quarterback. And he's a big supporter, and, and we have a great Friendship. Well, as much as I love interviewing you, I hope I'm not here Derby morning to interview you. I hope it's all smooth and we see you on the front side. I hope it's 7:30 on Saturday. <laughs> That's when I hope it is. So, but I appreciate it, Christina. Thanks. Good luck, fierceness, the two-year-old champ, and the expected morning line favorite in this year's Kentucky Derby for Michael Foley.